Hey, Harvest. You know, as a church, we spend a lot of time talking about how we want to, have to love one another and encourage one another in community. And we've talked about the impact that we want to have on other people. But this week, with James 1, 19 through 25, I want us to look at the impact that God's truth has on our lives. Is this book changing your life? And if not, then I want this to be the week that you begin to see that change. You know, way too often, we're focused on life change in other people. We, we spend our time and energy trying to fix other people. But that's not where we should start. We should start with ourselves. You know, just look at verse 19. I'll just jump right in. It says, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Now, why is that? It's not just because that kind of person that always talks first and is quick to anger is annoying, but it's because of verse 20. Look, he says, For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Do you want people around you to follow God? You can't do it with your anger. You can't scare people into following God. You know, sure, you might be able to scare someone into following you, but following God, you can't do it. So what should we do? Verse 21, instead, therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your soul. So we start with ourselves. And one author that I read recently said that the two things expressed in this verse here are the most basic Christian disciplines, repenting of sin and consuming God's truth. It's like exhaling and inhaling. We exhale sin through repentance. We inhale God's truth through his word. You know, but some might be saying, well, okay, I've done that. I've received the implanted word. Well, have you? I mean, look at verse 22, because I think he's kind of uh, answering that. He says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. So listening to God isn't worth anything if you aren't obeying. You know, do I know the Bible or does the Bible know me? Do I let it read me and dig into my heart and my mind? Am I obeying it? And then he expands on that idea with an illustration in verses 23 and 24. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. And then he goes on and kind of expands with this idea in verse 25. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and perseveres being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who, who acts, he will be a blessing, be blessed in his doing. You know, I check myself in the mirror before I shoot these videos. I'm, when you pull up Zoom, you double check that the video looks okay. Nothing looks ridiculous. You know, does anyone want to get on a Zoom call, call the moment you wake up in the morning? And he's saying the Bible does the same thing with our hearts and with our souls, with our life. It shows us what needs to change. It shows us how to change. And here he's used several different phrases, all referring to the same thing, the Bible. He's called it the Word. And then he, here he calls it the perfect law, the law of liberty or the gospel. And that's really at the heart of the Christian life. Our growth over time, becoming more and more like Jesus, the ultimate logos, the ultimate word. But we have to study the Bible. We have to grow in our understanding of it. We have to understand it in order to obey it. And as I was studying this passage, Christy reminded me of Jesus' interaction with his mother and his brothers, including James in Luke uh, chapter 8, starting at verse 19. It says this, then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. And I have to assume when James was writing this passage that that moment 
was in his mind. You know, and can you imagine, he must have been so indignant when he heard his brother Jesus respond to him in that way. But how did he feel when he first witnessed Jesus alive after his death? You know, I think at that moment when Jesus went, he went from just being his older brother to being Lord, someone to follow, someone to obey. So let's make some resolutions together this week. We are going to read the Bible, be in it regularly. We are going to study it and learn it. And most importantly, we are going to do it. What is your reading plan? How are you growing in your knowledge? What is God teaching you right now? Are you obeying? Are you doing? And James reminds us with his last phrase here that by doing, we are blessed. And it's such a, I think, great parallel with Psalm chapter 1 where he says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor, nor uh, get, working on the memorization here, who stands in the seat, way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff that the wind drives away. Do you need some basics in getting started and studying the Bible and following it? Like, how do you begin? How does it work? Howard Hendricks has a very short video series on basic Bible study methods. It's available on YouTube, and Dr. Hendricks passed away a few years ago, but he's considered one of the best Bible teachers in our country, and he just had such a simple and helpful way of communicating, and it will help you to understand how to read and study the Bible for yourself. And I'm going to put a link in the description. And also, the first session of that series is just six minutes long, and so I'm going to include it at the end of this video so that you can watch it, because I think it's really helpful to all of us. And I hope that it will really whet your appetite for more and that you'll go through and study the rest of it. Uh, and I look forward to going into this more with you guys. You are 